What is going on guys? It is Chris here and welcome back to another video. It has been a minute since I've uploaded, but today is a very special occasion I would say because we are are going to be going over our Wolf Algo, which is something that a lot of people have been asking me about. You know, how does it work, Chris? You know, what even is this Wolf Algo? So I'll explain to you guys what this is as well as, you know, the video title of 97% accuracy ES and SPX strategy. So of course you guys are all interested in that and I will explain it. In just a brief moment but i kind of want to give a rundown of course of how this actually works so right now we're looking at the es chart and the one thing i want to note out about the es chart which is you know kind of odd from the other charts that sets it apart is we are not taking signals during our pre-market or after hours on es now es is futures right so we have a three minute chart up right here and a lot of the volume comes in during the regular market hours so that's why i like to trade it during regular market hours that's basically the only reason why especially also another reason why is because we have options during regular market hours and during extended hours only futures. So let's just get right into this. How does the algo work? We have our 100 MA, which is this blue line and our 200 MA, which is this white line. Now on our 100 blue is above our 200 white. We only take long signals except one rule that we have to follow other than other than this rule. And that is after this cross right here, after blue goes above white, so now we're only taking our longs. For, so for example, here, this is regular trading hours. We do take the first opposite signal. So in this case, it's a short signal. Today we had one in the morning. I'm just gonna give you guys, you know, not cherry picked examples. This was just today, 8.33 Pacific. We had a signal, it triggered at 3,880. And we saw a drop all the way down to 3,870, about 10 points. If you didn't wanna hold that long, you have about seven points right there immediately. So that's kind of a scalp trade, easy 50% on SPX puts and then later in the day right at power hour which is 12 pacific and that is three eastern we had a trade that triggered at 3895 i'm going to round the number right 3895 and then from 3895 we close the day here breadth closed the day at 3927 so that's a very large close as you can see we have a 32 point move from that long signal and on zero dte you easily get you know 1000 plus percent if you don't think that's realistic, you know, just check check what the option prices were at that time when you had that signal. Even in the money options, you were still going to get a very fat 500 to 1,000% gain at 0 DTE on that. 1 DTE, 2 DTE on SPY, 100% fine as well. You're going to be getting fat gains, you know, whether it's 100, 200% on those as well. So that is how the algo works. It literally just comes down to that. There's no extra bullshit confirmations where you have to say, oh, some volume or something like that. It is just these two confirmations blue above white 100 above 200 if that's the easiest way to remember it and that's how you get 97 percent accuracy signals and this one in through here again this is going to be a part of that 98 percent accuracy and so we're looking for the first opposite signal so if we go to let's see the the previous day before this we're looking at es the previous day which was 16th of september again we go to our regular market hours we don't take this signal unfortunately it generated profit we can't take every signal especially the non-confirmed ones we have this signal at 63 it comes all the way down you know it has a little bit of a pop here but if you average you're easily fine and even if you don't you're, you're fine still because it goes down to 52 it's an 11 point drop completely fine on that gain and then the day before again I'm not cherry picking any of these it's just how the, the algo was alerting we had a short signal right in the morning at 727 pacific it came off at around 51 and I'm just taking the max gain just for, you know, the sake of it here, it went down to 20. So 31 point move end of the day as well. We had 41 and end of the day lowest was about 05. So what is that? That's like 35 or 36 points on that one. So very, very nice gains that we're getting on the ES three minute. And again, we're not taking extended hours, uh, signals. So that is the most key thing for ES. Now we switch over to SPY. We only have two other charts. So in case you, looking to exit off the video we only have two extra charts to look at and that's spy on the three minute and then the 15 minute but you guys are going to be asking me also hey chris why are you not looking at spx now the reason for this is because we have more fake outs on spx i don't know why because the correlation between these two is just an etf versus an index but they should be moving the same except for the fact that spx is simply 10 times larger than spy you can see there's actually slight differentials though especially in recent times on you know how much they're moving in a certain day obviously the point value is skewed as well as the percent value so it's a little bit different these days and that's why i like to trade spy now i'm 100 percent transparent with all users and everyone who uses the algo or wants to use the algo wants to purchase it this is a loss right here and i count that in my algo log right this is the es algo log up here 
we have our SPY log over here, you know, tons of data, but this is a loss and I count that. This is 87% overall accuracy that we have on SPY year to date for the three minute chart because I have every single data point that it has made so far this year. That's a loss, that's completely fine. Now again, here, what is this? It's a win. So this is the one over here, right? That's two out of three on the day, just on SPY. If you're consistent with this and you're taking the actual confirmed signals, even if you take, you know, some of the non-confirmed, you're still going to generate profits. That's the most key thing about the algo. You can't just say, Hey, I took one alert and I lost that's, you know, you can do that with any strategy. So that's very key to point out. And again, you can do swings with this one as well. I like to do say two DTE to one DTE on SPY, never really do zero DTE on SPY signals. I kind of just confirm them with my ES. But again, as you can see here, if you want a max profit, we have this signal that comes out at 392, closes the day and, you know, just off the initial dip, it's at 391. So already a one point drop. Then it closes the day at around 389. And then the next day it's around 382. So that's already a, you know, 10 point drop from one day to the next 15 to 16. So that's very key to note if you want to be swinging any runners that, you know, non zero DTE plays. That's SPY in the 15 or not the 15 to three, but what we're about to go over is the kind of the holy grail swing strategy this it does lose but i want to say it doesn't ever lose because when i look at the chart i don't really ever spot any losses that's because the 15 minute chart on our spy has a 53 out of 59 win rate for the year and that means that it has a 90 percent overall win rate and all these signals generate such immense profit i can't even you know i can't even keep track of the percentages that it makes like for example we had a recent signal that was confirmed the first opposite off after the switch the upside this is a confirmed signal Trigger to add around, I'm gonna round again here, 402. And then we come all the way down to 382. So that is over a 200 point drop in a matter of, what is this, like four days on SPY. And again, here, we're just getting a new long signal. We just got this one at 1215. So at 1215, the actual price, and you, you'll notice we're using the Algo and Hekinashi. 1215, the price, again, rounded is about 388. We close the day at around 388.54. So already 54 cents. If you don't want to swing it, you already have that profit. Boom. You know, it, it can be small profit if you want to compound it like that. But again, this is going to be very high accuracy. You can see this is the next opposite signal. Next opposite signal. We didn't have any trends because it was just flat trends, upside, downside. Uh, but in recent times, we have been seeing a lot of larger trends. As we can see here, we can go over this for days and days if you guys want to. But I'll keep it relatively short. You can see this is not confirmed up here, but these ones are confirmed even on these bounces, if you want to take these signals, which are not confirmed, I don't really recommend you take them. But if you wanted to take them, that is okay, because it's still going to have high accuracy. It's just that the, the short signals at this moment in time will have the higher accuracy because 100 is below the 200, as we can see. And again, when we switch, we have the opposite signals. Upside too, if you guys are wondering, hey, it only works for downside, Chris. No, of course, we have upside here. Some are smaller moves, as you can see in through here, we have a smaller move. But generally, you're going to be getting very large trend based moves, especially on this 15 minute. And that's what it aims for in the 15 minute. And on the three minute, you're aiming for the more trend based moves. That is what it's kind of trying to get to us. It has about out of the total trades, I would say about 70 to 80% of them are trend based signals. So you can have larger trends like this, rather than a smaller trend like this or more choppy, you know, market conditions. So that's what I had for you guys today. The, the key takeaway and why you click on this video, of course, I'm sure is because the 98% accuracy and that's on ES. This is, you know, basically never missed. I haven't actually had a loss in this since I've been trading ES in the three minute SPY on the three minute has an 87% accuracy. And then SPY on the 15 minute has about a 90% accuracy. And again, this works for Bitcoin. This works for a lot of other tech works for any chart on trading view that has any sort of data points. That's all you need. And you have Hekinashi boom, you're going to be fine if you have all of those things. And there's only two confirmations, like I said, the 100 and 200 MA. So that is completely it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. You let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'll put the links down in the description of this video, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace out guys.